G'day, welcome to Custom Craft and Adventure. My name is Derek. Welcome to the third episode of Build Your Own 4x4 Canopy. Uh, in the first two episodes, I've built a, a, an aluminium frame, and the aluminium frame is fully welded. Um, some of the welds are really bad, and I've fixed them up. Uh, lots of grinding involved. Now the grinding's all done. So here is the frame, by the way. And as you can see, this frame is upside down at the moment. Uh, and as a matter of fact, today I'm going to build the, um, the jack of legs and they're going to fit in these two slots. Well, and each side of the canopy has got a pair of these slots. So they're like keyholes of some sort. Um, so in this episode, this is all about putting this canopy back onto the ground on its own Are steam. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. All right, to make the legs, um, it's got to have the jacking mechanism. So it's got to be able to extend um, and retract. So you can jack up the canopy, uh, lift it off the ground and put it onto the <laughs> you. Pay, pay's laughing at it back. That doesn't matter. Okay. Um, there are several options. You can you can spend some expensive money in a workshop, I mean in the hardware store, to buy a set of four legs. That's about Australia uh, six hundred Australian dollars. Um, but it doesn't come with wheels, uh, and, and they are quite bulky. But to be honest with you, they are they're much lighter than a, a normal uh, jack. Now, my answer is this very cheap jockey wheel. Uh, that depends on the application, of course, because in my case, I want to be able to wheel it in my workshop. Uh, that's why I need jockey wheels, because it comes with wheels. And jockey wheels <laughs> has got this jacking mechanism so you will be able to extend it uh, and it sort of jacks up the whole thing uh, and, um, and you land it in wherever you want to uh, the only problem is it is obviously too short I need around uh, 14, 1400 full extension length uh, which is almost twice the size of this or even more. Uh, so a bit of DIY work is needed, uh, but I only pay $290 for the whole set of these. Um, and it comes with that sort of attachment as well. So I can make good use of this and put some 50 by 50, perhaps 25 by 25 as well. But keep in mind, that mechanism there cannot be blocked. The, uh, in, in other words, I will have to build the, the frames this far. So that handle would not be hindered. Yeah, let's get to work. Alright, to acquire the right measurement, uh, I fully extended the jockey wheel and I've just measured. The answer is 780 millimeters. Uh, so I've measured the, the height I need to, to be able to put the canopy onto the, uh, onto the, onto the car. And that's 14 uh, around 1400 so uh, I need to extend this jockey wheel by another 620 millimeters um, and that's the height I wanted uh, so to do that I need to allow enough clearance for my for, for the handle and including my hand on it it probably requires around 15 centimeter from this face to here and then I kind of F it uh, or you 15 centimeter from this face and then you make a 90 up there and that's basically the face of the mounting mechanism. <laughs> and that's where you put the couple of um, couple of 40 by 40 and that goes into the slot that I have in the canopy. Uh, keep in mind, I'll have to put um, gut sets as well, 
and the gussets are going to strengthen all the structure. Uh, I, I don't know, I'm not an engineer, but all I know is gussets strengthens everything. So I'm going to put lots of gussets. Um, in that case, I'll cut some, cut some, not aluminium this time, cut some steel, and I'll have to use steel wire to, to do a bit of welding this time. It's fighting! So now, Derek is prepping the pieces to go onto the jockey wheels. It's really, really important to have like a clean surface before welding. Let's see what he's doing now. So, he has done quite a few pieces here. And that is the last one that he needs to grind it off. So, those pieces will go onto this oh. surface. Oh. And it's very accurate, Bi. And, and they will go on to like that. So that I can still have clearance. Yes. How will you hear me, can you? So you can still have clearance to operate this. So, yes. Ah. Oh no! Oh, uh, not come down. Where are we up to now? Uh, we are up to the attachment. So the left piece uh -huh. goes onto the jockey wheel. Yes. And I'm, I'm with the last one there. Yeah. Should we give it a try on yeah. jockey wheels? Oh, I'm pretty certain they're all correct. Um. Goes in. Mm -hmm. And that just goes in. It goes in like this. And that just goes in. Perfect.
To not overwhelm your piece, and as you can see, I'm not I'm not sure if you can see it. It's no no longer parallel, uh, and as a result, it actually doesn't fit in all the holes. Yeah. yeah. But luckily, my human error saved me when making this frame. I could still fit this in. So that one is specifically for this. Now, what, what I'm doing now is the last step. I'm just fitting in the uh, jockey wheels. <coughs> and after this, we can perhaps test fit on the car. But to do that, I might have to take off my new frets. Um, because I think the frame is talking, it's shorter than the new frets. <laughs> Alright, we'll sort all this out. Thanks for watching. That's all about this episode. Um, so we've just test fitted the canopy on the Ute, uh, and it works out perfect. Uh, we can't believe how how well it works, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Exactly. Uh, we just marked four holes. Uh, so what's left really for today is just uh, uh, some drilling, and they're going to be paying the back side uh, because it's going to be hard to drill uh, without drill press, of course. Um, so uh, after drilling, we'll just secure the canopy uh, on the ute mm -hmm. uh, and give it a good clean. I know it is a short episode, but mind you, stay tuned. The next episode will be fantastic. Lots of special. Yeah, lots of special lots of stuff. Surprise. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we'll be bending metal. Uh, it involves lots of panel beating. Uh, we'll be working on the door Those seals seals as well, yeah. uh, and that basically will. Will, uh, will sort of complete the whole canopy. Um, uh, the canopy will be in working order and theoretically we can take the canopy out, uh, going somewhere and test driving uh, the canopy while it's on the U. So if you like this content and if you enjoy it, subscribe to the channel, press like and notification. And um, I really, really, and we really, really appreciate uh, your um, your, your support. Your support and appreciation. Mm. Yeah, I'll see you next time. <laughs>